if things occur uh, at, a, at, a, at a low rate, they're very hard to change. Like if something comes up only once every three years, it's very difficult to, to establish any kind of program that'll make a big difference. But if you can get that behavior at a high rate, then you're you're in a much better chance. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you're in a much better position to give the kid information about what he's doing wrong, and that every time he does it wrong, it's for the same reason. Uh, and and this, of course, this implies that if you were dealing with a severe behavior problem, who did certain kind of tricks or whatever, went off under certain conditions you would make it at a high rate so that he had lots of opportunities to run off and, you know, then receive information about that goes nowhere. You're not getting reinforcement for that, but you are getting reinforcement for your appropriate behavior. So then, you know, he'll let go of it in time. So generally, you want to isolate and vivify the things that are going off Absolutely. in order to get feedback that's coming in timely enough to make any change about it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and you, don't, you don't hide from it. So instead of hiding from the mistakes that the corrective reader makes, we bring them all out in the forefront.